Hello everyone, today we're going to be cleaning up disk space on a Linux Mint workstation. This will also work with Ubuntu as well. Now before we get started, don't forget to click on subscribe and then click the bell. Okay, so I've been using this Linux Mint workstation for quite a while now. So I want to get on here and free up some disk space. So I'm going to start out off by going into my start menu here. And I'm going to type in disk. And I'm going to open the disk usage analyzer. And here we can see that I have 120.9 gigabyte available out of 133.7 gigabyte total. So as we can see, it's going to show us the amount of usage in each one of the different areas of our disk. And we got this message that it couldn't open one of the folders. So, but we can see where we're using all of our disk space. So we're going to start out by looking at what we have available. And we can see that we're using about 13 gigabyte. So now that we know that we're using about 13 gigabyte of disk space, we're going to go in and perform our first function, which is going to be to run a sudo app get auto remove. So we're going to open the command line. We're going to type in sudo apt get auto remove. This is also going to remove any kernels that we're not using. As always, folks, it's a good idea to make a full backup of your system before you remove any of these files. So let's go ahead and execute this command. And we can see that about 2.3 gigabyte of space is gonna be freed up by running this. So I'm gonna say yes. And we can see that it's completed successfully. So we can go ahead and close this. Now, if we go back into our disk analyzer, we can see that we have some additional space available. The next thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at the apt cache. And we're gonna see if we can clear the cache and free up some space. So we're gonna open the command prompt and the first command we're going to run is going to show us the size of the cache. So we're going to run a sudo tu sh on var cache apt. And we can see that we have 443 megabyte. And we have two ways that we can clean the cache. We can choose to remove only the outdated packages, for example, those that were superseded by a recent update, or we can clean out the cache in its entirety, which is going to free the most disk space. So the difference is going to be if we only want to clean out outdated packages, we're going to run a sudo apt get auto clean. And then if we want to clean out everything, we're going to run a sudo app get and just put clean in there. So I'm just going to say clean because I want to clear out everything. Okay. Now if we run the other command again, we can see that it's been cleared. The next item is probably going to be pretty obvious to most of the users watching this, but I'm going to cover it anyway. We're going to go into the software manager and we're going to look at our installed apps. And if there's any apps that we don't use, we're going to go ahead and remove those. So once we get in the software manager, we're going to left click the little hamburger menu up here and we're going to select show installed applications. I'll expand this. And as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of applications installed on this system. 
But if there's an application that I don't use, I can select it and I can select remove. Now the last item I'm going to cover in this video is the logs, the system D logs. And so what we need to do is open a command prompt and type in journal CTL disk usage. Okay. And we can see that it's using 112 megabyte. Now the easiest way to clean the logs is to say that we want to clear logs that are older than a certain number of days. So in this case, I'm going to use anything that's older than 48 hours. So I'm going to run a sudo journal CTL vacuums, if I can spell it correctly, time, and I'm going to say equals 2 D for two days. Okay, and I can see that that was removed. Now if I run the disk usage command again, I can see that I've gone from 112 megabyte down to 16 megabyte. These are just some simple things that you can do to free up disk space without having to download a third-party application or running the risk of causing a problem with the system. Folks, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps other YouTubers find quality content, and we really appreciate it. Click on subscribe and then click the bell to get notified whenever new content is added. As always, comments, questions, and suggestions are welcome below, and we thank you very much for watching.